Welcome back to Big Sky Buckets. I'm Big Sky, and today we are not going to break down a game from last night. We're not going to break down a power rankings I'm doing. We're not going to talk college hoops. We're going to talk the NBA, one organization in particular, one trade in particular, and one player in particular. That would be the worst team in the league now, the Los Angeles Clippers, the James Harden trade, and James Harden, who I think needs to start looking in the mirror and realizing that if he keeps this up, he will be out of the league sooner rather than later. But before we get into everything, if you're new to the channel, new to the pod, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting. If you're an audio-only listener, rating and listening. And let's just jump into it. For transparency's sake, I have tried to make this video for the past hour, hour and a half and stopping myself every time because I realize I'm either going too far or not far enough. And I'm trying to... I want, in my normal rants, I think I we're having fun. It's all fun and games. But for this one, I'm actually quite irritated with James Harden in particular. And I think he deserves criticism here. When he decided that he didn't want to play for Daryl Morey in the 76ers, instead of staying in game shape for the, when he finally got traded, the opportunity to play for another contender, this time in the West, in L.A., and the lack of self-awareness and professionalism from James Harden in particular has been disgusting. It has been vile, and it is absolutely abhorrent. He, The short version here is James Harden, four games into his Clippers stint, straight up looks like he's not the same player. He's washed. He's not, he's not the same player. He doesn't have the same quickness. He doesn't play, to me currently, winning basketball. For retrospect, the Clippers started the season off 3-1, and one, only losing to the Jazz in a very close game where Russell Westbrook didn't hit a game winner. Boo-hoo. That shit happens all the time. Move on. You beat the Trailblazers. Okay, that's the team you're supposed to beat. Beat the Spurs handedly. Good job. And you beat the Orlando Magic. Who are, who are a good team, as you know from my rankings. Since then, they haven't won a single game. The Lakers game will chalk it up to a rivalry game, close game, and it was after the James Harden trade, but James Harden wasn't playing, so you lost depth. It was still a close game. But ever since then, it doesn't feel like any of these games have particularly been close. And the reason you're going to see a lot of Clippers videos, and the reason I'm making one today it's because they lost to the Grizzlies last night, who have been the worst team in the league. And we've explained, we've kind of talked about why that is. Uh, they just, they don't have a lot of rotation pieces right now. You're missing your major star. It's just been a brutal stretch. But, you know, shout out to them for winning. But really, this is more criticism on James Harden. It's, it doesn't look like he's taking this seriously. He's never, ta he's not... He just keeps saying, oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Take some damn accountability. And they traded what seemed to be a no-brainer no trade. They basically traded the culture away. They traded key ro role players that do the dirty work. And in return, you get a guy that's going to complain because he doesn't get enough shots off and uh, I want to, like, instead of the catch-and-shooting threes that this team obviously needed, and they still get playmaking, but it doesn't work next to Russell Westbrook. We know this from his time in Houston. I This is not as fun of a rant as, been, as it has been, and I kind of outlined that a little bit earlier. But the main thing I want to get across is, like, it was funny kind of watching them, like, lose yesterday or whatever because it's just like, man, they can't catch a break. But then you go back again and you watch it. And you watch James Harden in particular, and all you can think is, what the hell? He, he's the lack of self-awareness, calling yourself, I am the system. You are not, not even close. You're not playing winning basketball. You're playing whatever basketball you want, and it's hurting the team. And the problem here, this is the major problem that everyone's going to outline, but I'm going to do it anyway. The best way to go about changing, fixing this problem is to put either one of Russell Westbrook or James Harden on the bench. 
Russell Westbrook does not deserve that after taking a step back and trying to fit in the system. And if James Harden gets put relegated to the bench, he's going to have a hissy fit and demand a trade again. And he's just... I've never been the biggest James Harden fan. I, I respect the MVPs, and I respect those Houston teams for being as competitive as they were, going to the conference finals a bunch and having just some tough losses and all of that. But the reason I'm not as uppity is, I, I'm, I'm like I said, I really want to hit this in a sweet spot between grilling James Harden while also not crossing a line. I want to be respectful in a way, at least to this organization, that has tried their best. They really, they really have. I just think this was, and everyone's going to say the same thing, this was a mistake. You're a professional athlete. No matter how skilled you are, and don't get me wrong, this guy has been extremely skilled for the duration of his career. Eventually, time and lack of preparation actively affects the way you play. That has been showcased throughout time in every sport. The self-awareness to me for the lack of self-awareness for James Harden is if you think you're going to get some massive contract from the way you've been playing for the fact that you're not in game shape, I have yet to hear him take any accountability. And yeah, I, th that was a weird episode. It was a weird tangent. Again, I don't necessarily hate James Harden. I just hate the way he's acting in these losses. I hate the way that the, the professionalism and lack of self-awareness seem to be detrimental to this organization that had been playing very well before the trade. And I feel bad for the players that have been working their asses off to try and get wins. I keep thinking that this is not... I, I want to be more up, upbeat. That is it for the pod today. Tomorrow will be more upbeat as we talk about some more games but i think this needed to have i needed to talk about this hey guys big sky here from the editor's zone i really want to solidify what i'm trying to say here i know i have not really talked about the stats which a lot of people will they're bad the shooting splits are bad the defensive rating is bad the plus minus when he's on the court is bad uh during the memphis game they came back when james harden was not on the court and then when he was on the court they lost all of that as well is right for criticism. But what I want to specify is that the couple of things that happened this off season is what I'm trying to say needs to change. So when James Harden, he originally just wanted to go back to Houston to be the man. And when Ime Udoka got there, he kind of said, I don't think you're a good fit for our young guys and chose Fred Van Fleet over James Harden, which most people were like shocked at, uh, including me. And then he went to back to Dar like basically back to Daryl Morey. He was like, okay, how about that? Like max contract extension. And Daryl Morey was like, I don't see you as a core, a major piece of this franchise going forward. These are things that are uh, their effects from the causes, which are James Harden's professionalism the game shape, the seriousness. It feels like there's a maturity and attitude issue here with James Harden. And I hate to pull into question the his character, but it seems to be showing its head more and more as the days pass. And that's what I want to talk about here, is that if James Harden is unable to let the ego go of trying to be the man, be the system... And, sh and showcase like true professionalism by staying in shape, eating health, eating right, doing what it ne what needs to be done for this team to win. Then I genuinely believe that the GMs around the league are going to look at this, and the owners are going to around the league are going to look at this and say, "Sorry, bud, no one wants you. No one's going to pay you that big contract. No one's going to pay you the small contract because you are not affecting winning basketball the way you need to be. This is kind of your last chance, in my opinion." I know that sounds weird from a guy who just won an MVP, what, six, seven years ago? Like, not, not very long ago and has been an all-star caliber player. But this is what's going to happen. And the game, the game of basketball is there's always someone in working to improve their game to take your spot. 
And if you take that for granted, it will bite you in the ass, and then you will never play in the best basketball league in the world ever again. That is what I'm trying to get across. If you're going to take anything away from this, take away the fact that I am throwing this criticism out there, not because I hate James Harden, because I want him to be better. I don't want this team to fail like this. This isn't... I'm not going to root for their downfall for this. I'll root for their downfall when they play players I really like or something like that. But I've I've liked what Paul George has been doing. I've liked what Russell Westbrook has been doing. And it's sad to watch them just go down the shitter. They, they, a lot of these players don't deserve this. And this all, this starts and ends with James Harden buying in. And it doesn't look like he wants to. Thank you all for watching and listening. I'm going on more tangents. If you like this video, give it a like. Might as well let me know down below, was I too harsh or was I not harsh enough on James Harden? Was I, did I just let the Clippers off, off the hook? Should I be drilling them more? Should Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, or Russell Westbrook actually be held accountable for the fact that one, at least one of them probably asked for this to happen? But yeah, let me get, let me know, and I will see you tomorrow with a, a much a more upbeat video. You guys deserve something nice in your life. It's a damn Monday. I'm sure Mondays aren't going super well. No one's Mondays ever do. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.